So April, do you feel that this White House yes. is purposely misconstruing the meaning of these protests or doing it on purpose? Yes. Um, yes, I do. Um, I've watched over this period of time that this president, these 501 days that this president has been in office. You have to remember, you know, he has said that it's disrespectful and he's called out the NFL. The NFL is now doing the bidding of the president, basically saying that uh, all the players must stand. But after that, after that piece, what's next? They talk about there are they are uh, uh, the administration and the president for all America. Well, you have a segment of America that has created a fervor within not just the black community, but the brown community and other communities in the white community about what we're seeing, police involved shootings, and they are not addressing it. I have I asked the president in October about this when he did his uh, press conference uh, in the Rose Garden standing next to Mitch McConnell. He did not answer. He said it was about disrespect of the flag. But after you get through the disrespect and kneeling versus standing, you still have this issue. What are you going to do about it? You know, it's still a very big issue, and we're seeing it happen over and over again. And, Don, not just uh, a few weeks ago when we had uh, uh, the situation with a young man who was shot 20 times or more by police in his grandmother's backyard, and then we had uh, the verdict come down about Alton Sterling. I mean, you know, Sarah Huckabee Sanders said it was a local issue. Mm -hmm. So, and then we still have the issue of, 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 of Eric Garner, who cried out 11 times, I can't breathe in New York, his mother's still looking for justice, and that's still in limbo. Well, there are issues on the table, and this White House is primed to be the one to answer it, and they have not answered it. That is a, the big question. Why are they not worried or concerned about police brutality? They should be. I, I couldn't believe that she calls you rude because obviously, I mean, she hadn't seen Helen Thomas I'm not or, rude. or Jake Tapper or, or Sam Donaldson. I mean, that's exactly. the way the briefings used to be all the time. That was Let a contentious me, yes. adversarial relationship. Yes. And now everyone wants to be friends with him. Why don't why? Hang on, Scott, I'm going to get you in here right. and I'm veering off a little bit. What happened to the press corps? Why don't they do that anymore? Why don't they do what you did today? Don, I'm going to say this to you, and my, my fellow colleagues may get mad at me. I don't care. Um, but here's the bottom line. I came into the White House when Helen Thomas was the dean of the White House press corps, working for UB, UPI. Um, Ann Compton was, was there. Sam Donaldson, Bill Plant, um, so many others were there who would press. They would bang on that door. So why don't they do the door it? Was like, they would challenge them. You know what? And I'm, I'm going to say this, and I don't care if people are angry. I've been there 21 years to there, too. Okay, say Two it. days. See Here's the bottom line. Many of the, many of the people... <laughs> Many of the people in that room want to be friends with these administration folks, be it any administration. There is a friendly adversarial relationship, and they're mm -hmm. scared that they will not get information okay. or they'll be talked about. So what?